everyone, my name is Michaela. No, it's not. The hell did I just watch? <laughs> Jeff Daniel. We're here for review and... Well, no, we are not Jeff Daniels. Actually, that's your name. Oh, well, that's part of my name. But... And we're here to review and we're doing a little indie movie that came out last weekend. Um, we saw it today, and I think it's pretty good, and it's called 8th Grade. Okay, 8th Grade, do you want to... just watch? 8th Grade, do you want to go through the story real quick? Uh, so basically it's about this awkward girl... Played by Elsie Fisher. ...who has an awkward YouTube channel. And she has her awkward friends at her awkward school with her awkward father. What the hell did I just watch? Are you done being sarcastic? No! Oh, I am. I think this is a really good movie. Um, basically what's going on is it's um, Elsa? No. Kayla. Kayla. Her last Elsa, week... Would you... <laughs> her, her real name is Elsa Fisher. Um, Kayla's last week of high school, or no, of junior, uh, middle school. Middle school. Yeah, it's her last year of eighth grade, and what it, this movie takes place during the last week, and you see her as this girl who does these YouTube videos where she's a strong, independent woman, and she gives self-help advice, and then in the real world, she is anything but confident and anything but what she is in these YouTube videos and it's kinda sweet like I alright I'm not an eighth grader far I'll, from it you're closer how did what did you think the of the um authentic, uh, authenticity of it what how real did you think it was not at all no like the way it was so awkward and stuff. Like nothing's ever that awkward when I nothing was ever that awkward when I was in eighth grade. And I'm in and I'm almost in tenth grade now because it's summer. I was in ninth grade. But when I was in eighth grade, nothing was ever this awkward. Like, what the hell did I just watch? I think I I liked it. I I really enjoyed it. Um it was a lot of fun. And I I really liked the dad in this movie. And, and I like the fact that the movie didn't portray the parent as being a jerk or being trying to be hit or anything like that. He was just a good parent. And in fact, he has a really good scene near the end of the movie where he gives a speech to um, Michaela. No, it's just Kayla. Kayla. And it's a really touching speech. Um... I know a lot of people are calling it this year's Lady Bird. I thought this is far better than Lady Bird, where Lady Bird went and devolved into, first of all, just to give you a quick glimpse of Lady Bird, Lady Bird in, in the middle of the movie, completely, it was supposed to be a, a mom-daughter movie, but in the middle of the movie, the mom completely disappeared. In this movie, it stayed focused on this girl and just this whole week and her going through these conversations and learning things. There's a very good scene about a banana. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> not the banana! <laughs> it is hilarious. I, <laughs> I was cracking up. I have I, never seen an 8th grade girl that curious. There, what the <laughs> hell? Whatever, don't listen to him. He's just being judgmental because he wants to be loud. This is a, do, do you want Shut to say up. anything good about the movie? It was funny. I can't relate to it, though, because... You're not I, a girl. And also, nothing was ever that awkward for me. Yeah, even the... the but the awkward conversations and the awkward stuff was kind of funny. <laughs> That, I think that's what made it funny, because it was so awkward, and you have these... Uh, these There's always an awkward moment in this movie. There, there are a bunch of preteens who are just like, oh, 
But remember, she's an awkward girl. That's the whole point. Uh, what? Like when you when she does those YouTube videos, she comes off as, oh, this is what you should do. This is what she what you should do. And not to give anything away, it's in the trailer. There's a part where she where um, in her YouTube video she's like, oh, um, be confident. You know, I'm a very vocal person. And then what does she win the award for? Awkwardness. No, quietest person. Oh yeah, that's it. That's it. It's in the trailer, it's not a spoiler. Um, the, the, if I could, what can I say bad about this movie? I don't, I don't, I'll, maybe there, no, I will say this. There were a couple of awkward scenes and I don't know if it needed to be shot like it. When the dad comes into her bedroom without a shirt on. And I was like, I, th th that was it. There was there was nothing sexual about it or anything like that. It's just like, why did he have his shirt off? Oh, I thought you said there was nothing sexual about this movie. I was about to. Oh say. no 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 no! The, the, the whole <laughs> banana scene that threw that out the window. <laughs> um, but she is she she's she. Uh, Kayla's a very sweet girl. She she's not. Like uh, Chloe Grace Moret, she's not a beautiful person. She's a normal girl, and she's just trying to get through this phase in her life. And there's a lot of interesting conversations to be had it in this movie. Um, I love this movie. Uh, if you have a chance, it's only in four movie theaters this week and last week. I think it's going to be slowly rolling out. I'm not gonna lie. Um, this came out of nowhere, and I really love this movie. I give this movie 8.8. .8. Your score? 8.9. Yeah, it's somewhere in the high 90s on the tomato meter. Um, Cause it was good. Yeah. I actually last weekend it was pretty much sold out. So this weekend it was kind of shocking to see the theater more or less empty. Close enough. Yeah, and it was empty enough where we could laugh. Yeah, and we were I'm in a smaller theater. Um, so uh, that was kind of cool. Yeah, that banana scene. <laughs> I'll never get over the banana again. I did laugh at the scene though where... where uh, what was she looking at on her, on her phone when she threw it? You didn't see what she was looking at her crush? I can't remember right now. That was her crush. Ate it. Yeah, she, there's, there's... Oh, I will say that. There's a scene where she goes on a date that, for me, like, I completely forgot who that character was. Gabe. Yeah, but there's a scene they where... A. She, Kennedy's cousin. There's a part of the movie where she's looking at her phone, and her dad walk, walks in on her, and it's mad dark, and she just throws the phone on the floor. And cracks it. And cracks the screen, and it made me laugh because, like, she wasn't even looking at anything dirty. But she, she, she's so... She was thinking dirty. Well, she's so awkward. She made it worse <laughs> than what it Don't was. Don't put it like that. She was, though. I really like this movie. Well, she's awkward, but the fact that she made it worse... Ugh. Yeah, but that's what made it cute. I, I like this movie. Go out of your way to see it, even if you're not... Neither one of us are female, in case you haven't noticed. The fact that you reminded me of this movie, I can't get that banana scene out of my head. Alright, he's stuck on the banana. Anyway, um, yeah, this is our thoughts on 8th grade. Um, let us know, have you seen 8th grade? Are you looking forward to seeing it? Tell us in the comments below, like, subscribe, and of course... <laughs> bananas. No. Gucci! No. <laughs> Bye. If you freaking dab. <laughs> I'm not dabbing. <laughs>